The yarn I'm using for the bag is called Sensi. It's a soft nylon type of macrame cord in the color latte. It almost looks champagne. It's a number three, lightweight. And it is 251 yards per skein. I bought three for the bag. This you can purchase on Amazon. And right here it says two millimeter cord. It's really nice has a really nice sheen to it. With this bag, I'm going to be crocheting two on each corner. So I start with the feet of the bag facing me. This is the inside, this is the bottom, and this is how you want to start. So I'm going to increase with this bag. So I count from the side of the foot. So that's one, two, three. And in that third, on each side, I'm going to put two increases just to start. So I have a hook that's small enough to get through the holes. This is a 3.5. So it's one. So. And I'm just gonna work my way around in single crochets until I get to the end. And as I go along, I'm going to hide the tail. Okay, I'm almost at the second increase. It's one, two, and this is where we'll put two single crochets. Okay, we're at the third. One, two, three. Again, 
the two single crochets in each corner, which equals eight, will be the only time we're increasing throughout this entire bag. I'm going to continue to work to the next increase. We'll see you there. Okay, now we're at the fourth increase. One, two, three. So that's my corners. So this is my second single crochet. And we'll make our way around to finish. slip stitch. Okay. It's such a nice end of summer day, so I decided to move outside. Okay, so I just did the slip stitch here, and this will be the beginning of the round. So you always want to start with single crochets. Okay. Using a four millimeter hook. And there's no longer going to be any increases as we increased as we went in the first round, right there, on those corners. The cat decided to come back. Hi, babe. Then after I'm done, then I'm going to switch to the double-sided crochet needles. It's a water fountain in the background. Thank you. 
So continue to crochet along in single crochets. And I'll meet you when we get to the end. Coming back to where I started. So we're gonna begin the rattan stitch. So this is the first single crochet. This is the slip stitch. So we're just gonna go ahead and go right in there and do one single crochet. And now we're gonna switch the needles. This is the double-sided crochet hook. You'll see one size says three, one size says four, which is fine for what we're doing today as we are just pulling through that loop backwards. Okay, so we go in as if to single crochet, slide the needle, pull that loop through, chain one. Go to single crochet, slide that needle, and chain one. Go through the next loop, the next stitch rather. Slide that needle, chain one. Slide the needle, chain one. Slide the needle. Pull through, chain one. Okay, keep going. Pull up, slide the needle through, Pull it, that loop, and chain one. And this is what we repeat all the way around. <laughs> my crochet is not in my lap where it usually is, which is a lot easier. So as you go through, you'll get the hang of the rhythm of sliding the needle. Pull up a loop, pull that backwards loop through, chain one, pull through, pull that loop through backwards, chain one. Slide it through, pull it through backwards, chain one. Okay, so I'm going to continue around and then we'll have that stitch definition where we will continue to repeat after the first round of rattan stitch. see the little line set, vertical line bumps that it's making, in which we will then go between. Okay, I'll meet you back around. So we're at the beginning of the round. Here was that first rattan stitch when I started. So we have one more. Pull through, chain one. All right, so now you're gonna go on the inside between inside each stitch here 
You're gonna go under the two bars, pull up a loop, pull that loop through, chain one. So there's no join. You're just going to continue around. Okay, right there under those two, two bars right in that stitch <laughs> pull through chain one right between and as you go you'll get the hang of it And then it will start to flow. Pull up that loop, that backwards loop, chain one. And that's it. You just keep going around and around until the bag is as big as you want. If you want a mindless stitch where you could just relax and not think about it, this is perfect. I often have a few projects on needles at the same time, whether crochet or knitting. I have my more intricate projects that require pattern and concentration. And then I have ones I bring to work that are more mindless or for traveling. Or I just don't want to think about it. Just relax. And this is one of those stitch patterns. So I just continue this way. And then as I go along, I'll show you the progress. So I've gone around a bit to give you an idea of what the rattan stitch looks like with this yarn, the Sensi. really nice tight stitches. So just continue to go around until the bag is as tall as you like. You can crochet handles. You could put a magnetic clasp between the middle there. You can add on leather handles, a chain, chain handles. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. It was really fun stitch to do. As you see in my other video, I show you how to do it with a regular crochet needle, but I really love the way it came out with this, with this yarn. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching.